We've got two other videos that you can watch in the playlist on actually the setup and the teardown and storage of the booth. But for right now, we got a great opportunity to interview Keith Kay, the National Sales Manager for Mobile Environmental Solutions. So I put D-rings along both sides, and this has a two-purpose. Uh, one, you, if you're outside working outside all the time, you can tie it down with some sand and some five-gallon buckets. Or if you're working inside, you can tie it up so you can turn the fans off. That'd be nice, because then it would just basically kind of support it to where it would fill even faster. Correct. Great. So one of the great things about our booth, it's a U-shaped design, and this helps with the integrity of the structure of the booth. So with that integrity, we can remove windows, floor, and doors. They're all replaceable. They're all industrial Velcroed in. And even on some of the windows, in case of fire, you can pull this strap, pull the window off, and step straight out of the booth. Um, we even have some customers that, for cleanup purposes, if you don't want to get your floor dirty and you're doing a lot of paint jobs, a lot of work, uh, they lay down a cheap tarp. That way, when they're done, they pull the tarp out and they can do it what they want with it. Okay. Now, you talked about that structure and that integrity, so that means that you could take that window out and it still stays up. Correct. The floor so, you could take out and it still stays up. Right. So, even if one of the doors are open, or one of these pass through doors, we're stepping in and out. It's not going to make the food deflate. Okay. okay. So we can also, speaking of the doors, we can enter exit from the rear with the vehicle all in here, leaving the filtered doors alone, or if need be, we can get through the front through the filtered door as well. Right. And this door has two entrances. It has this one for just if you want to pass through, and then it also has the door for driving vehicles in and out. So this zipper, if you're pulling in cars, now if you have a bigger truck, this whole door is Velcroed on. So you can remove this whole door and you've got 9.6 inches to bring a vehicle in on this 23 by 15. Okay. And we're going to have a video coming up of that real quick of uh, pulling in a crew cab pickup truck in here. That's the filter. You want these good and sealed. Now a little tip he's found to be real useful is just to keep the uh, cover on the bottom here and not have it be uh, lost. It's all filtered air coming in. Can you talk a little bit about this? We got all these filters we're going to uncover here obviously, but... So this, this, these filters on this side help the cross flow design. You have all this, this air flow pushing across the booth towards the exhaust filters. So when you remove these patches, you have all filtered air coming in and then you have the filters built in the door that are going to, you know, prevent any contaminants going on into the environment. I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Look how big these filters are on the door themselves. Okay. So you'll see, I'm going to step out again. As that's filtered, the, you'll know the air is good. Once we close this door up, I'll do that right now. Once that door's closed up and he has all those patches off, you're going to know you got good cross flow because this is going to uh, keep blowing up here. So you can see here that this is sealed up on the three sides and just open on the top. So everything that gets filtered comes through the door and then we got air that'll exit there. Now you can start to see, see he start pulling those patches off and look at the airflow change there. So that's that cross flow. You know, he only has you know about two-thirds of them done and that was making that big a difference there great cross flow there let's step back inside some uh, fire emergency exits we have one here that we can hold the velcro will come off this, this thing is all velcroed in you have a window on each side with red straps on you can pull the windows out step out of the room and also the front door is also velcroed in where you can hold it hold this D-ring, pull it off, and, and step out of the booth. Okay, so for, for our customers that are painting a lot of vehicles in, in a month's time, they're pulling vehicles in and out, we don't want you to wreck the filters driving over top of the door all the time. Because what we've done... Fold this in half. Right here, pulled over the top of the door. This way you can drive your vehicles in and out of the 
out of the booth without damaging your clear your clear door that's letting your ambient light in so you can see your paint jobs. Oh, fantastic. So we're actually going to get ready to pull a full size uh, crew cab short box pickup truck in here. And to do that, we need the 9.6 9 inches, correct? Notice when you remove the whole door, he's just leaving the middle door, the walkthrough door, assembled. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull in 2014 Chevy 1500 Silverado crew cab short box. Plenty of room to get around and get all your paint done, even on this big a truck. There's always the option of the 15 by 30 foot, which could be a lot more room. This booth is a 23 by 15. Okay, those are outside dimensions. These tubes are 18 inches in diameter. Now, let's say you are you only have to paint a quarter panel on one side of the vehicle, and then you have to blend it in. You can pull this vehicle closer to that side so you have more working space. You know, but we have other options for other sides of booth. We have a 30 by 15 also that should give you, you know, seven more feet on the back side. Oh, fantastic. And the height? 9.6. On two, two of your standard booths, correct? On the 23 by 15, the 30 by 15. And okay. then we have bigger ones that go 12 foot high and 14 foot high, and then we can do custom ones past that. Yeah, and Keith, you said one of your, uh, one of the booths you did was even for semis. Correct. We got one, we've got, we've done a couple for semis. I actually have one being built right now. Uh, that's a pretty big booth, and I'll have some pictures up on the site uh, shortly. Fantastic. This product review video was brought to you by HowToWrench.com. Visit Mobile Environmental Solutions website for more information.